Hey guys, Chris Morano here, and in this video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna walk you through our agency's process with my computer to show you exactly how my agency finds topics that are going to rank on Google. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, Chief Executive Officer of Blue Water Marketing, a digital agency that specializes in digital marketing for e-commerce stores and home service lead generation type businesses. So we work with a variety of clients and that's where I think my help to you is going to be. I'm gonna take some hypothetical industries or companies and go into Google and then use SEMrush to break down how to find these long tail keywords that are gonna drive thousands of people to your website. So let's hop right into it. So the first step is going to be figuring out a business. Personally, I like to keep things a little bit interesting. So let's start with a testosterone replacement therapy business. We're going to search for something other than the first thing that pops up on Google because this is going to give you an idea of how people are searching for various topics. If you're a local business or an e-commerce store, it's really hard to rank for that one product or service. But if you figure out a couple of additional keywords that people are searching for, it is a great opportunity to capture that audience, building up your domain authority, and then getting ranked for more keywords. So we're gonna start with testosterone injections. Let's see where this goes. Now, if you need more information, I did create a video all about SEO tools, specifically Chrome extensions that will absolutely help you in figuring out which keywords and opportunities your business has, the most important being keywords everywhere. And that is gonna be a breakdown of all of this information telling me that there's an SEO difficulty of 70 out of 10. There's an off-page difficulty of 76, meaning I need a lot of backlinks and off-page work to get ranked for this. Now here's where things get a little bit more interesting is we're gonna go and click on one of these. How long does testosterone injections take to work? So we're gonna take this blog, transformyou.com. And then we're gonna go and open up our SEMrush. And if you don't have SEMrush, go ahead. You can click my affiliate link, which I would be very grateful for, and you get a free seven day trial. This thing is the best. I'm telling you, we've used every tool, and we still use other ones, but SEMrush, SEMrush, whatever it's called, is literally the best one we've used. So we're gonna go ahead and open up SEMrush. And at this point, we have a domain overview section. So it's giving us all of the information about all of this company in terms of organic search traffic, backlinks, etc. That's not what we want. We wanna go back up to this section and we want to paste the exact URL that we're looking for. So now it's telling me that this blog gets 1,900 people a month. Now, of course, the data isn't exactly as accurate as Google Analytics, but for our purposes, we're just trying to determine is there a search volume that we can capture for this content? What you're seeing here is they have an authority score of 19, 1900 people a month to this page and 43 backlinks to this page. Now, if your domain authority is higher or your page authority is higher than the 19, you might be effective. You might be good with this. So now you just have to write a better piece of content. But let's say you're not, you're a local business, you're a 12. You have an authority score of a 12. What are we going to do? Scroll down is exactly what we're gonna do. So as we scroll down, we're gonna find top organic keywords for that blog, and we can view those details. Now from here, you're going to see the first one, which is exactly what we searched. How long does it take for testosterone injections to work? And you'll see a keyword difficulty percentage of 52 out of 100. Not terribly difficult, guys. I'm telling you, this one could actually rank if you need to write a blog. Just make it longer and more informative than whatever they have. And I'm sorry for transformyou.com. I truly am not meaning to bash you. This was on a whim, randomly decided to search for testosterone therapy. Now, back to how to capture more of their audience. We go down here and we find this 34. How long to feel effects of testosterone injections. There is your title. The keyword difficulty is less. They are ranked number one still. Traffic percentage is 11% driving to that. So 11% out of the 1900. So you're talking about 200 people a month to your website. All you need to now do is write a more informative blog. 
So our process is exactly this. Now, of course, things can get a little bit crazier. And again, I'll show you how to find topics to at least start this process. So we're gonna go into the topic research section of SEMrush. Let's do, let's do something completely different. Best bird feed for cardinals. Super random. If you guys are finding this video useful, if you think this right here is going to help your business, I would love for you guys to subscribe. We've had a good year with YouTube. I'm hoping to get even better next year. As you can see, if you look for past videos, quality's going up. We're showing you more of exactly what we do. So go ahead, thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button. And I'm putting these videos out every single week to help you guys. So within the SEM Rush topic research area you have a number of different topics and you can see the volume of all of the people who are searching for these main categories now of course some of them are going to be extremely difficult to rank for but let's just go ahead and show you how potentially you can capture more traffic from bird feed which has a volume of 110,000 people per month searching we're going to go ahead and click show more and now we all of a sudden have a number of different blogs that are ranking for bird feed as well as questions directly associated with that so generally what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these questions and answer them within a single long 2500 word blog in order to get that ranked but before we go ahead and start writing about bird feed we're going to need to dive deep because as you can see here there's a keyword difficulty of 76% which is rather high so we're gonna do the same exact thing that we just did for the testosterone therapy and we're gonna apply the same tactics to bird feet so we're gonna take this blog attract Cardinals to your yard seven tips and three things to avoid we're gonna open that page up now we have this blog which we're going to go back into the domain property and we're gonna search for that. And again, I'm sorry, perkypets.com. This is nothing against you guys. I'm just trying to show exactly how to break down finding valuable keywords and then finding the keywords that will help you get that more traffic. So perkypet.com is a phenomenal website with an authority score of 56, 208,000 people per month. But again, that's to the parent domain, the main URL. What we want to do is find the exact URL. So that page is an authority score of 32 with organic searches upwards of 9,000 people per month with 122 backlinks, 52 of which are referring domains. So essentially every referring domain has two backlinks. Now what we want to do here is you can start to see there's actually a trend down, meaning that something going on in perkypet.com is causing them to lose this traffic. Could be a competitor, could be on-page SEO errors, could be site speed, could be a number of different factors. So again, we're going to scroll down, we're going to find top organic keywords. This is going to show us which keywords Google is finding relevant to this blog that hopefully you can capture based on keyword difficulty. So we're going to scroll down a little bit because we have 59, 50, 55 you can see that they're ranking what do cardinals like to eat number two but let's scroll down do cardinals migrate score 53 we're going to keep going all the way down this page to find a green cardinal birdhouse preferences so again this doesn't necessarily relate to the food that you're trying to sell for your cardinals and your bird feeder but you could start with birdhouse preferences of cardinals that then incorporates links to your cardinal bird feed so you're driving the traffic to the birdhouse blog and you're driving the people to your products it's an easy way of finding these little random long tail keywords that are opportunities for your business to rank higher i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know we got into some weeds i definitely know we got into some weird topics hormone therapy and bird feed if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next week with another video.